Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining you about the connection termination phase of TCP. So this is in continuation. Viewers who are watching this session should definitely watch my previous two sessions that is the connection establishment and data transfer so that you can understand this last phase here the connection termination. So in the connection termination, how the different segments are exchanged and what values has to get included in each of these segments, I shall explain in this session. Moreover, this connection termination is also a three-way handshaking mechanism. Three signals or three segments are getting exchanged between the client and the server. In the connection termination phase, three segments get exchanged. In this first segment, which is actually starting from what from the client, because the client after sending the data now has decided to terminate the connection and it does not want to send any data further, it has to end the connection and that end the connection to end the connection it makes use of a segment and that segment is sent here you can see and the flag which is set here is FIN, FIN stands for finish. So I will just try to first tell you in the form of signals the client will send what FIN the server will send what FIN and ACK because ACK is what the acknowledgement to this fin then the client will send what ACK this ACK is acknowledgement to this fin. So basically these three are the uh, segments that are getting exchanged here but you have to show with what the related values. So let us see here the different values how it is used in the uh, connection termination phase. Now you can see here active close. The server has the client has decided to close the connection. So it will send a segment here with what FIN set to 1. FIN set to 1, if it is a fin segment, that means a segment, if it is a fin segment with no data, then definitely it will consume a sequence number. It consumes a sequence number is 10001 cannot be used again. Okay, consumes a sequence number, it cannot be reused. Here it is writing what sequence number 10001. Now, this also is related with whatever I have explained to you. See, it has sent data up till 10,000. And in the next uh, data which has come from the server to the client, the acknowledgement is 10,001. So, the server is expecting that next time when you are sending the data, your sequence number will be what 10,001. That is why it is using here in the termination sequence number value as 10001. It is not sending the data but sequence number value should be mentioned in the fin six. So it is mentioning as 10001. Remember that this sequence number 10001 as I said is what it will be the first uh, byte number if it is sending next time any data to the server. So that is why it is using 10001 and you can also relate in this manner the previous segment which was sent from the server to the client the server has acknowledged with 10001 so definitely 10001 will become the sequence number from the client to the server. So this is how you can relate to when uh, during the termination phase. And from this client has set acknowledgement as 17001. This will be more, uh, very clear now because see the server has sent up till which byte number 17000. It started from 15001, ended at 17000. So the acknowledgement will be what? 1 plus the last byte received. So it is writing 17001. And this is what we call it as what fin segment. Fin segment will consume what a sequence number. Now in further in future segments, this 10001 cannot be used by the client. Now to respond to the res to give a response to this fin segment, the server re server will respond with an acknowledgement, and also server will say, okay, you are going to close the connection. Even I'll be closing the connection. So it has to set the fin flag here, and it will acknowledge the fin of what the client. So that's why we call this as fin plus ACK segment. And once again, in any any segment which is like a fin and ACK segment which does not carry any data will consume a sequence number. So this sequence number will not be used again by the server side. So now you can see here it is mentioning sequence number as 17000 and definitely you can relate now 17001 it is writing because you can see that the acknowledgement number is from the client to the server is 17001. So any time next time when the server is sending the data with the first byte number as 17001 that is why it is writing here the sequence number as 17001 only. If at all it sends next time any data the first byte number will be from 17001. So it will write its this value and the acknowledgement value you can see here it is writing as 10002. Now this acknowledgement value 
has to be it is an acknowledgement to what it is an acknowledgement to the uh, fin segment fin has come from where from the client to the server now server is acknowledging to the client and the value for the acknowledgement is what 10002 the previous value that was used by the server was 10001 and after that the sequence number which was used by the client this one the client is what 10001 because it has to send any data starting from 10001 only now the acknowledgement number which will be used from the server to the client will be what 10002 this 10000 no doubt it has ended here but 10001 is an acknowledgement number and this acknowledgement number is used in the fin segment any sequence number which is used in the fin seg segment which does not carry data will not be reused again Hence, it cannot use now 10001. That's the reason the acknowledgement number becomes here what 10002. That means it is trying to say to the client that next time when you are sending the data, your first byte number will be what 10002. I am expecting byte from 10002. Normally, what is uh, the what is our assumption is okay, the last byte number that is sent from the client to the server is 10,000. So, that next time when the client wants to send, it will try to send from 10,001. But 10,001 is used already here in the fin, which cannot be reused again. And hence, the server will write down, yes, you start sending the data next time from what? From the byte number 10,002. That is the reason it is writing 10,002 as the acknowledge. And the related flags will be set. So, we call this as fn fn plus ack segment now in order to acknowledge the fin of the fin of the what server side the client will send the acknowledgement hope it is uh, clear the flow the first one is the fin this is the acknowledgement to the fin of the client then server has also sent the fin that is the finish uh, this one uh, to end the connection then the, this is the ack to the fin of the server so, it is also set, sending the ACK. So, it will write, yes, definitely from next data, whatever I am sending, my first byte number will be 10,002. Hence, it will write as 10,002 only the sequence number. And it has to acknowledge also. See, look here, acknowledgement number from the server side, it has become 17,001. A segment, a fin plus ACK segment, which does not carry any data, consumes a sequence number it will not be used again. So, 17001 is used. So, the client is also telling to the server, next time when you are sending the data, your first byte number will be what? 17002. Always remember, acknowledgement number indicates the first byte number that will be included in the next segment. So, here it is. That is the reason you can see these numbers here. Same concept of whatever I said, no, consuming, not consuming holds good here for SYN, FIN, okay, consumes a sequence number. SYN and ACK, FIN and ACK consumes a sequence number. A segment which is having only ACK and, OC, and uh, ACK will not consume any sequence number. Okay. So, this is how you have to connect the different sequence number right from the connection establishment to the connection termination. But whenever I am saying does not consume a sequence number, consume a sequence number is what? When that segment does not carry any data. Otherwise, if data is there, definitely what? The sequence number will be consumed, already used. Every segment will have uh, what uh, byte numbers and the first number will be always the sequence number. So, definitely the sequence numbers will get used in the segment that is carrying the data. But only the segments during the connection establishment phase, SYN, I will repeat, during the connection establishment phase, SYN segment that, that does not carry data will consume a sequence number. I have indicated with red color here, consume a sequence number. SYN and ACK segment, which does not carry data, will consume a sequence number. Then only ACK segment, which does not carry a data, will not consume a sequence number. That means the sequence number can be reused and it is already reused here. 8001, once again, you can see in the data transfer, it is 8000. Now, the same logic, same uh, principle you apply here to connection termination phase also. Fin segment, which does not carry data, will consume a sequence number. I have indicated with red color to indicate that the sequence number will be what consumed here. It will not be reused. FIN plus ACK segment which does not carry data will consume a sequence number. Okay, But only ACK segment, so this and this means the same now, only ACK segment which does not carry any data will not consume any sequence number. 
So, will not consume means now whatever 10,002 is mentioned here, the client will send the next data with starting from 10,002. In that segment also the sequence number uh, mentioned will be 10,002 only. And it is expecting what the byte number from 17,002 from the server side in the next segment. If at all the server wants to send the data. So, there also the first byte number if the server is sending the data it will be 17,002. So, this is all about the three different phases in the TCP protocol. Hope this session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.